Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season four, episode five of The Expanse. This episode is called The Oppressor. Brilliant episode title. Um, I'd like to see them kind of play about with that theme of, of who the oppressor actually is in any given situation. We've got a hell of a lot going on at the moment in sort of every quadrant of play that is happening. Uh, the arrival of Marco Inaros, who is danger personified, absolutely a narcissist, deeply dangerous, um, charismatic, but I suspect if you cross him, you wound up dead. I'm really concerned about the future of, of Drummer. I think in some ways Inaros was speaking directly to her soul, but she is loyal to Naomi, so at least that she has that to balance it out, but we'll see if that's going to be enough over time. I'm actually really quite interested in the relationship that's happened between Inaros and Mars. I was saying last episode about how it's the perfect combination, an entire army of disillusioned Martian vets who are coming home to no opportunities and very little respect, in fact, outright shame by the looks of the way that Bobby and others are being treated, being very, very easy prey for someone like Inaros to, you know, recruit. But also we know that the issue of Martian technology ending up with the OPA predates this. That happened back in season one when Avasarala was interrogating the Belter right at the very beginning of the series. She was saying something about he had a piece of Martian tech on him. I can't remember what it was. Was it a cloaking technology or something? I'll have to go back and double check, but she definitely referenced that in that torture scene. Ten hours. Christian Abbasrala. I'm sorry the gravity of a real planet hurts, but it's appropriate. You wish to hurt Earth. The Earth that is now crushing your weak belter lungs and your fragile belter bones. Oh my god. All you have to do to make it stop is talk. <laughs> You're an OPA terrorist. You were carrying contraband stealth technology. What was it for? My God! That was horrific! So you have to start wondering how far back these relationships have been building to this moment. Has anything that's happened in terms of the way that the plot has developed actually been driven by this relationship between Mars, the OPA, and whatever is happening there. I'm really intrigued about that and knowing the expanse I'll get my answers relatively quickly. And on the in terms of Avasarala we also have an issue with her right now because she's attempting to win this election by any means necessary against Nancy Gao and I think this is going to be probably Avasarala's biggest stumbling block ever because she's not actually a politician. She's much closer to an agent then she is a politician. She doesn't do things necessarily through, con you know, cajoling, convincing, enrolling, those sorts of things. She, you know, gets dirt on people, gets leverage. That's the way that she operates, and that's that's fantastic when it's it's in its place. But I worry about the impacts of that more widely uh, in a different position. We'll see. Obviously, back on Illus, we have all hell breaking loose. It seemed like a nice little neat ending last episode with Jim taking the gun and sort of defeat. And I loved it. I loved every second of that. I love Naomi setting the Rosie on um, Murtry 2 and like, K -k 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 -k. that was fantastic. It was brilliant. But Murtry still has all of his men. Murtry is in control of the, the forces on Illus, whether Jim wants that or not. And I cannot see Murtry letting this go. So I think some bad shit is about to go down and I'm not entirely sure Jim is going to see it coming because Jim is very much a, a straight fighter. He, you know, he turns up in front of Murtry and has a duel, you know, punches him clean in the face. Murtry do, is not going to operate that way. So I expect Murtry to be triangulating against Jim for a period of time and then a pretty devastating attack. So we'll see how that plays out. But yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this season. I like the way that the characters are facing very different challenges than we've seen them placed in before. So we're seeing different sides of them, 
both negative and positive and I love it when a show does that so without further ado let's have at it I wired it myself it will work oh is this the blast of the um yeah they're here 10 hours early no leave it we have to remove the charge the drive will set it off then it does at least blow it now before they land give them a chance to pull up nah fucking you know that no! Oh! Shit! <laughs> Big surprise for landing, eh? They got it coming, then. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Who's no! So they would all have died without her. There, there. You're safe now. You got some deep tissue damage. That's the kind of thing that doesn't do too well in zero G, so. I guess this means we may it. <laughs> Welcome to the Rasanate. <laughs> My family. My tree said. We haven't heard anything yet. But Holden oh, will take care of it. That's right. Holden's not gonna let anything happen to them. I promise. You know, I used to go there when I was in training. They had this grilled corn with garlic butter, you know? I do not. Yeah, garlic butter. And they had these sides, these green sides. No one cares. Trade places with me and then we'll talk about it. Don't be an asshole. I saved your life out there. Maybe. Oh, really? You think you could take on all my men by yourself? I had a shot. In here! Shit. Wow. What's that? Terrifying. No one outside their quarters unless Chief Murtry says so. I don't give a fuck what Murtry said. Where's my crewman? Module 7. Sir, we have a situation. I'm well aware. Hmm? Your sir just got his ass kicked. Give me the key and walk away. There's no need to die over this shit. Fuck that. <gasps> Captain Holden, you left before we could finish our tour. What the fuck? Cut him loose. Do it now. We don't have time for your vendetta. Vendetta? The artifacts on this planet are waking up. The device my ship just blew up would have wiped this settlement off the map. We need to get everyone off the surface before something even worse shows up. You're saying we need to evacuate? Yes, immediately. Unlock him. He'll only help as long as evacuating the Belchers is easier than shooting them. I don't know. Yeah. You people act like I'm the bad guy here. I came on a peaceful mission. These squatters drew first blood. And you used it to justify murder. I acted against terrorists who killed innocent people and were planning further acts of violence. But I'm the bad guy. You and your friend here assault me and my people, but I'm the bad guy. Maybe I just got that kind of face. I'll make sure you had to tell your story in court at a murder trial. Wow. One way or another, we all answer for what we've done. Oh! Are we really leaving? Well, only if the Belters leave too. Oh, fuck me. This evacuation is real, but you and I better be the last two people on their shuttles. Understood. That is fucked up. Both light shuttles in working order? Yes, sir. Take the secondary one, disable the safeties, rig it up for remote piloting, and put it on a proximity trigger. You want me to make it into a bomb? You. I want you to make it into an option. Fucking Jesus! Have the Bertos pause. Seriously, son of a bitch. He's gonna do it, isn't he? He's gonna do something truly terrible, and it's not about the fucking terrorism. I think he wants the lithium as well. Oh, I'm really worried he's gonna put all the belters on that ship and then just blow it up and be like, ha. Oh, Mercury. Play. Broadcast any of these images? No, ma'am. RCE said the Edward Israel was the only ship recording it. Good. 
I want these kept under wraps. The last thing I need is terror in the streets. Understood. Let's get this over with. Look at me like I'm the camera. The grain allotments haven't been adjusted for almost 15 years. In that time, immigration between zones... Use simpler diction. Just say, mm -hmm. people moving instead. This is a waste of my time. Who the fuck cares about any of this? Food allotment <clears throat> will be a key campaign issue. James Holden and a bunch of belters are fucking up our first exploration of an alien world. But yes, let's talk about the grain shipments. <laughs> no matter where the debate leads, we need you to come off as more approachable. Nurturing. The caring family matriarch attested... Get the fuck out! <laughs> Oh, Vassarella, this is not your thing. Was this RC's plan all along? No. It was mine. Don't make this a fight. I don't know if you're using Murtry or he's using you. Mm. But if we leave, they'll never let us come back. It's true. You go if you want to. The islands, where all that weird lightning ended up, started putting off heat like a super volcano on a planet with no volcanoes. Oh, my God. I mean, I was expecting a lot, but this is a lot, a lot. Right? She's in here, sir. You might want to get that checked out. Squatter camp hygiene makes for all sorts of nasty infections. Just itches. Dr. Okoye. What the fuck? Wait. I understand you saw the... Pause. What the fuck is on her eye? So now we've also got an infection. We've got green eye. Okay, let's do it. Plan. Thing that Holden destroyed. I want to hear about this alien technology. Every detail. Oh. Why would he want to know though? <sighs> oh, that's our girl back in her element. Oh, so much better. Nagata here. And this is Fayez Sarkis on the Edward Israel. Oh. I have an anomaly on the surface. Can I get a look at any surface data the Ross and Nantes made? Your boss, Murtry, was shooting at me not long ago. Mm. He's not my boss. And he's kind of an ass. <laughs> Want to talk to my wife? Where is she? Oh, hey, Jacob. Uh, yeah, she's here. And she is all right. I didn't ask if she was all right. I said I need to talk to her. OK, uh, cool you just there, friend. I'll transfer you over. Wow. Tell me she's somewhere safe, that she's not with you. What? Who? Felsia. Our daughter. Oh, Tell me you know where shit. she is. Matri, uh, he said. What? What they're saying about you and Coop? Scotty, the others? You were part of that. Shit. We were just trying to put them off. Slow them down until we could get a load of ore out. Get the money, hire a lawyer, maybe. No one was supposed to get hurt. God damn it, Lucia. How could you be so stupid? I wasn't stupid. I did this for us. All of us. My daughter is missing. Now they're going to round us up like cattle and take us away. We have nothing. Not even our family. Oh, man. What? You can't let them make us leave. She's bleeding. Jacob, you have to fight. Bleeding. If we did all that, and it doesn't even matter, you have to stay. Shit. All these terrible things you've done, they didn't save us. All they did was destroy the only thing we had left. Oh, fuck. What is happening? Oh no! Oh no! Lucia! What are you doing? She's gonna die. She's just gonna let herself die. Oh no, Lucia. Trouble coming. Looks like it. Oh my God. 
tiger keg. Tiger keg. Oh, my Erta sweetheart. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> Shit. I've been going through everything that happened. The bugs that showed up exactly when you did. Uh, the lightning and the way you happen to be exactly where the lightning started. You are connected to this and you are withholding information. Mm. She's right. You're right. Thank you, Jim. Well? I wouldn't even know where to begin. Oh, for fuck's mm. sake. Yeah. <laughs> well, those gunshots. Oh, oh shit! Fuck! Does she want you to see the inside of his head? Don't make me ask again. Oh, shit. have been locked in dead quarters by corporate soldiers. They have been executed without trial. And now we are being ordered to evacuate. We won't stop anyone else from leaving. They can go in peace. But we will not be forced from our homes again. Is this just us? Or is she broadcasting this? I don't see why she wouldn't. Chances are tomorrow it'll be all over the news feeds back home. Oh, no. Fantastic. Shit. Oh my god, if Vassarello's gonna lose it. You look like you're having a good time. I do enjoy the clarity of these moments. Now you see what I've been working with. But I am gonna gas every belter in the camp. Anyone I find with a gun is gonna be disarmed and restrained, and the rest will be kept stated until they can be taken up to their ship and sent on their way. I would ask if you have any objection, but I honestly don't give a fuck now. <laughs> oh. Wow, look at Denmark! It's keeping it good. I love keeping it good. I want to ask the candidates how they would protect us from a second Eros incident. That's a very good question. And I think the real danger of Eros is that we only react to it from fear. What we need now is leadership that can embrace the possibilities while managing the risks. I was in the Situation Room during the Eros incident. And as I recall, the real danger was that it was about to kill everyone on Earth. I helped <laughs> avert that disaster. You ask how I would protect Earth from another Eros incident? The same way I did last time. Metri has no right making them leave, and neither do you. If they mm. die here, it's on me. And it's on the Inners for fighting over Ganymede. Mm. And Jules Pierre Mal for his experiments, and Avasarala yeah. for sending us, and some aliens for creating the proto molecule and shooting it at Earth. Yeah. And it's on the Belters too. Yeah. Tell them the truth and let them decide for themselves. Thank you.